It's been a long time since I've been on here, I'm not gonna lie. So, I feel like, what, a couple weeks maybe? And here's the truth of the matter is, it's been a really tough couple of weeks for me. It has, like, just, it's been tough. And I'm saying that from an anxiety standpoint. So for those of you that like get anxiety and you know, whatever it is, wherever it is your journey is, wherever you are in that place, it's like a wave and it hits you. Like it literally will hit you like a wave hits the shore and all of a sudden you're consumed. And I was in a really big wave for the last couple of weeks. So it just kind of took everything in me to just get through like daily stuff, you know, but I did. And here I am living proof. You can do it and you will. So, you know, it's tough. It is tough though. It's tough. So. I think having conversations and knowing that this stuff is real is so important because a lot of times there's these pictures that are painted and we all feel like this need to be in this sort of, I don't know, rainbow world that doesn't exist. And I'm here to tell you that when the stuff hits, it hits and it's hard. It's really hard. So good for you because I know that you're probably getting through your own stuff. And it's Sunday night when I'm making this video. I should be sleeping. Shocker, I'm not. It's light. This time of year is really tough for me with my schedule and everything. It's 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 hard because it's hard for me to wind down. Like the kids are up and it's beautiful out and I don't want to hibernate like a bear because it's not winter. So we were at the pool today and you know. Anyway, um my apologies because I really want to make an effort to regularly have these conversations with you. Um, so my weekend in a nutshell, all right, real life. I went into Friday, like I'm going to get so much sleep. I'm going to sleep from 8 p.m. till 8 a.m. It's going to be great. I'm going to like sleep my face off and I didn't. And that's just the nature of the beast. Like we all, I think, go into things with these grand visions. So it's kind of like a bigger life lesson because things don't always, <laughs> you know what? Let me take that back. Things never go as planned. Like they never go like in that picture perfect way we, we paint in our brain. Does that make sense? So that was kind of like my weekend. So I had stuff to do for work on Friday and it was great. Nothing was, it was, it was awesome actually. And then I had a shower on Saturday. I got bit by a bee. Breaking news, I got bit by a royal bee. Like, back of my knee. Um, was, like, literally sitting outside. It was a lovely day. And felt this, like, shark bite. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but it really hurt. And I literally took my hand and, like, scooped underneath my knee and, like, tore off what felt furry and threw it. So I really never saw it, but was convinced that I could be dying and that there was poison running through my entire body. <laughs> the anxiety was kicking in. Ironically, there was a doctor at this party that was like, you'd be dead. You'd already be dead, Holly. You'd be dead. So I was uh, confident that I was not going to die that night. And here I am on Sunday telling you that I'm alive. But my leg still hurts. And I don't know what bit me, but I'm not allergic. It kind of like got a welt, like a mosquito bite kind of thing. I, I'm thinking it's a bee, but I didn't get bit by a bee since I was a child. So my mom was at this party. So she put like this baking soda sort of like <laughs> concoction on it and Benadryl sprays were flying everywhere and it was great. And then today is Sunday and it's Sunday evening when I'm leaving this uh, or making this movie and uh, we were at the pool and went to church and it was great. So I'm just kind of connecting with you and letting you know that uh, you know, no matter what it is that you're dealing with, know that if you're going through a tougher patch right now, it's going to be okay. I just got through one. All right, guys.